and Hamoud by Ice Spice is undoubtedly one of her best songs from her little but impressive discography, yet it may also be the most derivative. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Additionally, she and her producer Riot USA were sued for copyright infringement by another drill musician, D Chambers. He says that in that mood, a drill song that rephrases this line with a similar cadence, was lifted verbatim from his January 2022 song by the Bronx MC and Riot. When I'm ready, I get in that move. When I'm ready, I get in that move. Like damn, she in her move. Like damn, she in her move. Moreover, D Chambers conjectured that Riot might have heard the song performed frequently in the New York City region where he resided, and that he even received exposure on Hot 97, which could have led to his discovery of it. Ready, I get in that move. When I'm ready, I get in that move. Like damn, she in her mood, she lit, get money too Additionally, he claims that In That Mood was recorded a full year before to Ice Spice's release of her SNL standout single the RIA has certified in Ha Mood as gold, so Chambers has a strong financial interest to assert that this song is indeed his. It is said that he is requesting damages, half of the publishing rights to in Ha Mood, and other income. Naturally, this increases the already enormous number of copyright infringement cases that musicians bring to the music industry on a daily basis. It's unclear, though, if this case will proceed very far or if it will be dismissed at an early stage of the court proceedings. First of all, this outfit was created by D Chambers long after in Ha Mood became popular, and the drill genre is rife with subject overlap, colloquial language, and strikingly comparable beats. Because of this, it's difficult to identify anything more that Ice Spice could have lifted from in that mood from the standpoint of a fan than just rewording the song's title, which should come as no surprise to anyone perusing this. With Ice Spice and Lato's recent antics, you're already being shown wrong if you believed the ladies of rap were moving past their small-time drama in 2023. Latter has been accused of stealing her style and dropping dodgy bars during the former's year of record-breaking success. Even while they haven't yet had any problems face-to-face, -face, all the subliminal hinting makes us wonder whether 2024 will be the year that the creatives from Atlanta and New York square off. They're continuing as normal for the time being, with Lato making an intriguing decision while teasing new songs on social media. Perceptive internet users promptly identified a well-known face in the backdrop of the 777 hitmaker's latest clip. Lato was rhyming for the camera as a clip from Spice's Pretty Girl music video played on the TV behind her, even though Spice wasn't actually present. The blonde beauty spits, with many viewers speculating she's referring to her redhead contemporary. Oh at Lato shades at Ice Spice requesting a one-on-one -on -one and then plays Ice Spice in the background so she catches the direct whack. Genius. I love female rap, one music lover wrote after catching the mess. It wasn't long before Spice appeared to respond with some bars of her own. Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fuck. She declares on her upcoming release, which is sure to go viral on platforms like TikTok this winter. Lado has been frequently criticized recently for copying other people's stuff. She has been accused of mimicking a number of well-known people, like Ice Spice. Even Ice Spice herself called this out and seemed to criticize Lado in an earlier song. Now she all on the floor when I kick in the door, how you mad I do less cause you gotta do more. Spice rapped on, how high. Now, Lado is in the spotlight once again for appearing to copy one of her peers. This time, Sexy Red seemingly had something to say. And Lado has had enough. The put it on da floor, rapper took to X to address the speculation and shut it down. She has been demonstrating that she has worn true religion for as long as she can remember in an apparent attempt to put an end to the rumors. The fact that you're trying to prove that you was wearing true is crazy, one user tweeted. Lado quoted it with her own response and said, No what's crazy is y'all accuse me of copying any and everything, and when I prove y'all wrong I'm doing too much. Another person chimed in and said, The way nobody said any names though. You really are a ditzy ho thinking everything is about you. Y'all hoes deaf not fast I was addressing shade room comments under a post of me fuck as you town bout dizzy bitch if you gon be messy at least keep up. Lado and her friends shared a video of herself twerking in the mirror while wearing true religion pants. True religion jean wearer sexy red noticed and made an intriguing post on her account that sparked speculation. Two. He narrative was a fan's retweet. All these celebrities wasn't wearing it true religion until it sexier came out. After the Shade Room posted Lado's video to their IG, she took a stance. They be knowing what they doing lol. Very weird, Lado wrote. If you not from Atlanta this not for you. Some fans took her side, other took sexy reds. That post should have been left without a response, one person wrote. This so stupid and the gag is Lado and her crew were going to a throwback Atlanta themed B-Day party for 21 Savage, another user explained. So she threw it back to when everybody wore true religion. Please believe me when I say Nobdity is trying to emulate sexy red. Thoughts? Let us know on the comment box. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.